Andrea's no longer here just to study them. She feels a growing duty to protect them. She believes their conversations are rich in meaning and that one way to help is to listen to what they're saying. Today, she's adding to her vocabulary. And to get a better view of the clearing, she's working from a viewing platform. We're up pretty high. I think we're up about maybe seven meters. And you can see one end of the by from the other. And you see all the entrances to the by, so I'm able to keep track of all the individuals that come in. From up here, she can compile a kind of elephant phrase book, which links particular behavior to the calls they make. Well, what I'm doing is I'm trying to capture vocal sequences between elephants and the clearing in order to build up a, an elephant lexicon, what these vocalizations mean. Because I know the individuals, I can also anticipate these vocal events. Someone's lost. It's probably a juvenile lost its family. An elephant's hearing is phenomenal. They can hear much deeper sounds than we can. Technology is helping Andrea to record these very low frequency calls that are normally inaudible to humans. Yeah, Milo's checking in with this female. She's doing a very nice rumble. Elephants often do that when the female's being checked out by a male. They do this roll, low rumble. Andrea can now identify 10 different types of call. She's even discovered that each family has a distinctive voice. Oh, separated from its mother. Oh, the mother's coming. Here comes the mother. The mother hears the baby crying. There she is. She's vocalizing. There's a lot of low frequency going on now, reassuring the calf. And probably the calf is learning the family's specific calls. 